It's been said the most beautiful people are those who've known defeat, known suffering, known struggle, and have found their way out of the depths. Rupa Raju is one of them. I've had a difficult life since my childhood and experienced more horrible things than most people my age. You see, at a young age, Rupa was forced by her parents to join the ranks of India's so-called rag pickers. These are men, women, and young children who rummage through filthy garbage heaps in the cities of India, looking for anything that can be recycled and sold. Plastic, bottles, metal parts, pieces of glass, rotting discarded food. My day started at 4 or 5 in the morning, and I picked trash for 10 to 12 hours. On a good day, she'd earn about $2, and that was a good day. Here on the streets, where dogs were her only companion, and millions of squirming maggots, flies, rats, and crows, a constant distraction, she'd compete with other rack pickers for a few scraps. When I got older, my mother told me I wasn't bringing in enough money picking trash, so I was forced to sleep with men to bring more money. I became a prostitute. With tears welling up in her eyes, she describes the rage she felt toward her parents. I thought of running away. I didn't trust my parents. How could they do such a thing to me? I was angry. I wanted to kill them. I wanted something terrible to happen to them. Rupa is a Dalit, a so-called untouchable. Indian society labels Dalits lowest of the law, impure, less than human. Almost all rag pickers are Dalits. And like her, many young girls end up as prostitutes or get caught in a web of human trafficking. When I think about it, I begin to cry. But that's the past. Tonight's graduation night, and Rupa is all smiles. The Rupa of old is not the Rupa you see today. I cannot begin to explain to you what God has done in my life. She has God and Jivalin Kumar to thank for her transformation and this momentous evening. We really look forward to this night because uh, we see our women being liberated, being emancipated. Jivalin Kumar runs Tarika Women's Centre, a Christian ministry that takes in, rehabilitates and empowers scores of young women at risk. Almost two years ago, Rupa came to the centre looking for help. Here, she got counselling, learned how to speak English, took sewing and computer classes and eventually had her dignity restored. She also met dozens of other young women like herself who had similar life experiences. What I like to personally communicate to them is that I would never ever give up on any one of those women, no matter how many times they fall, because I know it is a struggle for them. Today, the Tarika Center is just one of a handful of Christian ministries operating here in India trying desperately to rescue thousands of Dalit women from human trafficking and sexual bondage. For many of these victims, such ministries are a lifeline to a better future. Rupa says it was at the center she discovered with great delight her worth in God's eyes. I come from a Hindu background. I knew very little about Jesus Christ. When I came to Tarika, I started reading the Bible and then understood what freedom really means and how much I mean to God. Ultimately, it's the Bible's view of them that Kumar says brings lasting transformation. They can't believe it because all these years they've been told that they are lower than animals. And here we are telling them that they are created in the image of God. And that just hits them, that just blows them away. On a recent Friday evening, Rupa joined 105 women on stage for a graduation ceremony honoring their completion of an 18-month course at Tarika. And sitting in the audience that night were Rupa's mother and father. They told CBN News this was the proudest moment of their lives. The Tarika Center has done a great job. My daughter is a different person. I feel bad for the things we did to her, but now I want her to study well and have a good future. And perhaps it's this image of Rupa holding her father's hand that speaks volumes of one life transformed by the power of the gospel. She told CBN News later she's forgiven her parents for forcing her into prostitution. Every night before I go to bed, I thank God for Tarika's center. I thank God for rescuing me from my past. 
These days, she works as a confident sales assistant in a large department store located on the most famous shopping street in the city. Same street, by the way, where she once picked trash. Her real desire, though, is to minister to broken and abused young women. There are many people who took care of me and showed love to me. I want to do the same for others. That will make me happy. George Thomas, CBN News, Bangalore, India.